Hello guys, welcome back to Take Dose and in this video we will see the Pascal's triangle problem which we will use to calculate the binomial coefficient and it is a very important math algorithm and this simple problem is already given in lead code number 118 where you can go and practice. Before looking at the problem statement, I would like to announce about our DSA live training program which will guarantee understanding of every programming concept. It makes you interview ready in just 3 months and it will maximize your offers so that you get the best possible pay and in the best possible company you can. All the sessions will be live interactive sessions so you will get the feel of a live class and you can ask all your doubts throughout the class. In order to get more details please whatsapp us on this given number. Let us now look at the problem statement. Now what do we mean by Pascal's triangle? In this case if you see that if we try to draw a triangle where all the boundary elements of the triangle on the left side and on the right side if we place all the boundary elements as one and uh, form all the internal elements with some ordering then that is assumed to be a Pascal's triangle. Now in this case I have already drawn a triangle so you can see that this is a triangular format of numbers which is written. Now in this case all the boundary numbers you can see that this is the left side of the boundary and this is the right side of the boundary. Now all these boundary elements are already one. So we can say that this first row and the second row are the base cases. Now when we start from the third row when we fill all the internal elements then you will see that for these two it is a sum of the left hand side element and the right hand side element. For this 3 it is a sum of this 1 and 2. This 3 is a sum of this 2 and 1. And similarly if you go to the next row this 4 is a sum of 1 and 3. This 6 is a sum of 3 and 3. And this 4 is a sum of 3 and 1. Right? So the property of Pascal's triangle is if you fill all these numbers row wise in the form of a triangle then all the boundary elements the left side of the boundary and the right side of the boundary all be ones and the internal elements will be the sum of two adjacent elements from the previous row. I hope you understood the Pascal's triangle. So the next thing is if we do a left alignment on this entire triangle then it will form a right angle triangle and the same triangle can be seen as as it is shown on the right hand side. So it's very easy to visualize this as well. Now if you can left align this Pascal's triangle from let's say an equilateral triangle to a right angle triangle then you can easily represent it by using a two dimensional matrix and uh, you can number these rows from 0 starting and go till n and uh, you can also number the columns. So I have already done that and if you do it then this will look in the form of a matrix where I will take n as the rows and r as the columns right now how do I calculate all these values so you will see these first two rows are actually the base cases the first column is actually the left side of the boundary of this triangle right and uh, you will see that this one is the right right hand side boundary this is the right hand side boundary and this is the left hand side boundary so these two had to be one all the time. So how will we fill this matrix? If uh, you are using an iterator uh, where n is showing the row number and r is showing the column number then you can say that if r equals equals 1 or you will say that n equals equals r. So in both these conditions you will place the Pascal's triangle at n r will be equals to value 1. Now this will make sure that the first column and the main diagonal actually has all the values as 1 which are the boundary elements. Now for all the non-boundary elements we have to iterate from row number 2 and go till n. For all the non-boundary elements you will see that for these two it will be a sum of two numbers uh, and uh, you can see that this two will be a sum of this 1 and 1. This 3 will be a sum of this 1 and 2. This 3 will be a sum of this 2 and 1. And uh, this 4 will be a sum of this 1 and 3. The 6 will be a sum of this 3 and 3 and so on. So if we pick a number like if we pick a cell then you will see that if I mark it as i comma j then it will be a sum of exactly two cells which will be i minus 1 comma j minus 1 which is the diagonal element plus i minus 1 comma j which is just the top element. So if we just sum them up 
then you can get the value at that present cell i comma j which is represented by using this formulation so i think now you can easily apply two loops and uh, you can write about the base case first you check if it is hitting the base case and if it is not hitting the base case then you can use this condition to actually fill up the entire matrix so this is filling half of the matrix right and hence the time complexity for forming this will be n into r because the table size is n into r now having formed this pascal triangle it is very easy to answer what will be the ncr value which is the binomial coefficient now let's say that uh, i want to find out 3c1 so 3c1 here n value is 3 and r value is 1 so you will go to row number 3 and you will go to r number i mean the column number 1 so this is showing value 3 so it will be 3 if you want to find out 4c1 then you go to row number 4 column number 1 and you will see 4 is present here right so it will be 4 now if you want to find 4c3 so go to the row number 4 column number 3 and this will be 4 as well and we know by property that ncr is equals to ncn minus r so you can use this property as well in order to see if two combination values are the same right so i hope you now know how to find the ncr values by using pascal's triangle which is a very easy method and you can go ahead and practice lead code number 118 which will be about uh, implementing how to find the pascal triangle i hope this video helped please like our video and subscribe to our channel in order to watch more of this programming videos see you guys in the next video thank you